Hi, I'm John, and this is Dice Paper Miniatures Live Clips. These are segments pulled from my Twitch live streams. This is a way for me to cross promote both my YouTube recorded content as well as my Twitch live streams. The kind of content you'll see on the live clips focuses on, well, the material I have over on Twitch live stream, but in bite sized segments. Everything from miniature painting to hobby reviews and discussions, unboxings, and various industry news. It would be awesome if you could click that subscribe and notification bell for future content updates, as well as share this content. All of this helps with the YouTube algorithm. In addition to helping the YouTube channel here, it also helps bring awareness to the Twitch live stream, which is typically at least once a week, if not multiple times a week. The schedule is a work in progress, so it definitely helps to follow me on Twitch so you don't miss any of those live streams there. But if you do, that's what the live clips are for here on YouTube. And lastly, before we get into the content here for the live clip, please consider checking out the merch store over on Teespring, where I have things like t-shirts, mugs, stickers, banners, and now face masks, which are perfect for respecting the space of your fellow gamers at your local game store. Furthermore, some of these live clips I do reserve for my Patreon page, which if you haven't checked that out, I definitely encourage you to check out the Patreon as that is just another way to help support the channel, which helps creating the content that you see here. Thank you so much. Now here is today's live clip. I'm going to probably come back to this white dwarf issue because on a personal note, I'm more excited to open up some of this stuff. So I'll just leave this here for now. First thing I want to talk about is uh, I got these. These are uh, oil paints from, uh, I got them off of AK Interactive's website. These are the um, 502 and it's German, but it's Abtelung. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce Abtelung wrapped in long but anyways these paints I got a number of sets they were sold out of probably half the sets I wanted to buy so I had it ironically though or coincidentally whatever they had them individually so I was able to get a lot of the paint colors I wanted individually but coincidentally I believe it was uh, Marco and I always pronounce his is it Marco Frisconi he's a youtuber I think he just covered these and he was comparing them to the Chimera paints. I really wanted to get the Chimera paints, but in the States, it seemed like those are kind of hard to get. So these seem like the second best thing. And he thought they were, I think if I understood his video correctly, more or less these are comparable. They're not quite as good as Chimera, but in any event, if you know anything about printing, uh, CMYK, so cyan, magenta, yellow, and then black you can pretty much make the full spectrum of colors i also got white now if those were all the colors i could get in theory that would be sufficient but you know you also save a lot of time by getting pre-mixed paint so i got a number of different colors but i'm not going to show you like all of them but what's exciting about these is i really like working with oils in general especially with my 2d work um, it's kind of hard to see in the background, but that's like a master study of a Frank Frazetta painting I did back, oh, it's about 10 years ago now. Um, I just, I prefer oils, but oils uh, for miniatures in my, I guess, it just never really, knowing that they seem to take forever to dry on a canvas, I dismiss them as a practical tool, if you will, for painting miniatures. So I just dismissed them so long ago I never gave them a second thought but now I'm seeing people using them for oil washes they're using them for all sorts of effects or just outright painting their models with them and then pointing out how they increase the you know the dry time or speed up the dry time I should say with different types of liquids uh, so in fact there's a thing called mal butter I think there's another name on the actual tube from Schminke yeah, that was a Russian painter that recently I saw one of his videos on YouTube that helps with this, uh, increasing the drying speed. And uh, I couldn't get, like everywhere I looked, the Schminke was like out of stock, but then I started looking for comparisons. And one second.
supposedly this stuff, this liquid aliopasto, uh, I got the normal liquid or what's called classic liquid uh, from Windsor Newton. So the, the normal classic liquid speeds up drying time by like 50% and it has a bit of a semi-gloss finish where apparently this oleopasto has more of a matte finish, which is what that Schmincke brand had was a, uh, a matte finish. So I don't know if I should exclusively use this or if I could get away with using classic or if I could mix the two, but it sounded like this one was increased the dry time even faster. So this will be something I experiment with along with uh, these oil paints. But the, the Russian video, I wish I could remember the gentleman's name that posted it posted his video he was showing how he was using like acrylics as just a flat single color base color for all the uh the miniatures and then he would do something for example like if he wanted to highlight black he'd do the armor maybe in a black or an, a deep blue and then he would use even a deeper blue for the oil for the shadow use a lighter blue or white for the highlight and then kind of uh, use that base acrylic as like the mid-tone and then he would kind of blend in the oils and uh, to get his shadows and his uh, his highlights and it, it looked awesome so I was really on the fence with going the oil route because I kind of went deep on getting pretty much the entire scale 75 acrylic line um, that was another one I was going back and forth too there was scale 75 because I thought well I can't get Camara so I'm gonna go scale 75 and then lo and behold um, scale 75 also has a creamy they call it like a creamy acrylic in fact I should have yeah that's what I got here okay I'll show those I thought well in fact these are the creamy acrylics I can just go into that right now I had gotten I had ordered these, special order these from my local hobby store. And uh, I got like, this is the basic color range. These kind of look like uh, the oil tubes for sure. In fact, they're literally the same tube, um, but these are the acrylics. I had special ordered these and then there was concern at my game store that they were like, we don't know when these are gonna come in. So I was like, well, I just ordered the normal, I just bought like the normal acrylic line and then I got, I thought I'd try these out. And then when he, I was told these might not come in, I was like, well, and then I saw that Russian video and I was like, crap, I really want to try those oils. And so I just, I just said, what, whatever, I went ahead and got the oils and then lo and behold, which kind of my budget for hobby stuff got really leaned out because <laughs> I got these and then my uh, special order from my hobby store came in for the acrylics and I was like, well, I didn't want to, I had to, I had to buy these. So, oh, well, it is what it is. <laughs> 